Good day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel. And in case anyone doesn't know where WA is, uh, WA is Western, is Perth, Western Australia. So today we've got a new project. I just found it this morning. I was sitting watching Sue from Artcraft and Journals doing her Marguerite Miller number two, and she mentioned that she's doing another project as well, as she's doing this glue book for the January 2022 scavenger hunt by Carla from Cage Fish. And so I went over and checked it out. It looks really good fun. So if you like Marguerite Miller and you want to do something else in between, because there's only one challenge per week, uh, there's now going to be 31 challenges. And you don't have to do them in order. You can, you can work through the list if you like, but I'm just going to do them as I find items and as I feel inspired to do that particular uh, day. So I'm starting with 27, but you can see there's 31 um, different prompts. So one for each day of the month. And there's also wildcard items if you can't find an item. The wildcards are a bit random. Fabric, envelope, rabbit, cow and duct tape. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. And bonus, if you run out of things and you want some more ideas, then there's the bonuses at the bottom. But the bonuses are not really, I don't think they're items to swap in like the Marguerite Miller. The wild card is the one to uh, swap in if you can't find something. So I've um, collected all the information and put it in a, a document. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just, I'll paste these, this list at the bottom of my description. So all you need to do is kind of highlight, copy, and paste it into a word pad or something and then you'll have you'll have all the prompts as well because I don't believe there's any way to download the prompts or you can uh, maybe screenshot let me see if I can put that in a good spot okay you might be able to screenshot that and uh, print it out either way all right so lottery ticket so the one I'm doing today because I found a crown I pulled it out of my little basket and thought I'll do crown and so then I had to look for the other things the unfortunate thing is I can't find a lottery ticket I actually positive I had one. Thought it would be in my Marguerite Miller. Anyway, I couldn't find a lottery ticket, but I thought there was a lottery ticket inside the book. And normally I pull those things out, but I might have left it in. Now, it's glue book, collage, however you want to do it. There's not a huge difference. The difference that I would say between glue booking and collaging is that glue book is pretty... Anything goes. Um, well, anything goes with collage too, but magazines gluing onto a magazine cutting out magazine images not worrying about being vintage shiny thin paper it's just glue booking is just really relaxed cut it out and glue it down and if anyone has ever seen i think it's nikki relax cut glue can't remember her name i mum watches her a uh, relax cut glue <laughs> <laughs> she does glue, what I would call traditional glue booking. If you want to know what glue booking looks like, pretty much relaxed cut glue is the epitome of glue booking. Uh, if you want to do collaging, well, of course, all of us do Marguerite Miller. It could be called glue book, but we call it collaging. Um, we're kind of like arranging the pieces in a an aesthetic grouping with colour matching, theme matching, that kind of thing. To me, that's kind of like collaging. Glue booking can just be, you like that pretty lady, so you stick her down on the page, and you like that handbag, or you like those shoes, or, you know what I mean? It can just be anything. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't really matter what we call it. It's just cut things out and glue them down and have fun. And what I want to do with this project is be more relaxed, uh, use up a whole bunch of items from my glue books or my collage books and my baskets. If you've ever seen my, my baskets, I've got well, now I've got five various sized baskets. Some of them are in themes, so I've got an animal one. I've got um, what's this one? This one's like a miscellaneous one. Not too sure. People, places, and things. I think. I don't know what that is. I know I've got I know I've got animals and flowers and I've got large large pieces. But I'm thinking of going like smaller pieces. Anyway, I just want to use up some of these images. It's gonna take forever to get through all these images, but Mum and I were talking about it yesterday and we're just kind of you know like we wanna just 
use up some of the items that have been floating around in the basket for the, pretty much the last 12 months. I also want to use up some items in these books that I might not use in my Marguerite Miller book. Um, sometimes I just find these are not my style and I so I don't tend to use them um, as much as I thought I would when I bought the book. I, I think I used that but it came out of the other book. Yeah, I just, I do use it sometimes. Anyway, there's that. And then I also want to use, if I can find, I found a rabbit. I found something out of this book today. Uh, use my antiquarian sticker book. And then there's this one as well, which, uh, yeah. I can't find a, a lot of ticket anywhere, so there's no lot of ticket. So I'm going to find images from those books and images from my baskets. The book I want to use is this little book that I bought, a couple, one for mum, one for me, and I thought it would make a good glue book. I'm not using it for my great miller, I'm using my big one, and I think this is going to be ideal. It's not too big, although actually when I, if I use a double page, it will be, it will be like A4 size, pretty sure. It's A5, so therefore if two, use two. So if I don't want to do a full page, I can do a half page, or if I feel like doing a full page, I can, so, um, that's the book I'm going to use. It was from Office Works. Just a little visual diary similar to that, but different. Okay, so some of the images I'm going to use for my 27. Smudge, I'll just use some ink or some paint or something. Something grey. Well, I've got this silver thing. I've got this grey cat, a grey bunny. I've got all sorts of grey bits. So I'll just pile them all on the page here. Let's move this out of the way. Something grey. Lots of grey items. It's kind of like a card that I found. Grey paper. Because we had used grey in Marguerite Miller, hadn't we, uh, re recently? That's another rabbit. All right. Um, crown. I've only got one crown that I found. I'm sure I had more, but I can only find one at the moment. Can't even find that one. Here it is. I've got a crown, so that's. I guess I'll be using that. And a baby. Well, that I struggled with that. And I did find... A couple in this book that I have that's just mothers and babies so this is like vintage ones but I'm not too sure that's going to go with this style so I really yeah probably won't use those but I did find this now this is in the extraordinary things to cut out and collage it's a collage that someone else has done now I don't know if I want the airplane blowing up I don't like that I hadn't noticed that but I just picked it for the baby so I might tear that out and just have the baby I'm going to tear the uh, sky off, I think. Um, I don't really want planes crashing. Um, with glue book, generally people don't tend to ink. But, of course, you can do whatever style you like. So, uh, now that I'm already tearing something out, I probably will ink it. This was going to be my focal. I was actually going to cut it out and keep it straight. But, no, I didn't notice the, um, didn't notice the burning aeroplane. That looks a bit strange. All right, let's just, I'll leave it for now. We'll decide if I'm inking when we see what else we've got. So that's my baby and my crown. So something grey. We're going to go baby and crown. Smudge and lots of not doing. And so therefore I am going to use a rabbit as a wild card for the lottery ticket. Uh, I like the cat too. Maybe I'll use the cat for something grey. Um, so I've got that rabbit. This one, obviously that's Peter Rabbit. This one came out of the antiquarian sticker book and this one came from Daphne's diary out of all those pieces now we need a background um, I'll probably take the border off I don't think I like the bright green yep and then Peter Rabbit I'm going to tear him out and decide which one I want to use I think we're going to go with one of those for the because we're having a bit of a grey theme. I quite like that one. And the cat. Alright, so we've got, if that's the colour. So my baby has turned out to be a bit... Mm, mm, we'll have to see, but... What are the other babies? See, that one's kind of white. I don't know that that goes with those. I might use this one. Let's just cut it out for now. Cut it down a bit, but I'll actually cut it so that I can still use the other side if I want to. Like, so I've got that, or I've got that. I've got to decide 
what we want, what colour we want to go in the background. I, had, I got this blue out because I thought I might be using Peter Rabbit. But, okay, just got a piece that's not too misshapen. <laughs> it's supposed to be quick and easy. I don't know about this. And there's that as grey too. Okay, so there are all the pieces. Let's put the pieces to the side, a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. I will, I just need to decide on a piece of paper. I was going to use this blue, but that's not what I want anymore. I'm going to find a different background to put on here. Ah, so, I don't know where I was up to. I got totally distracted looking for something uh, to smudge. Yes, so I couldn't find my sort of dry pastel soft pastels um, but I found them and then they were really really grubby so I cleaned them <laughs> these are so old I bought these in 1981 in the UK with with a voucher that I got from the uh, flight center that bought sold me the air tickets and we got to spend 200 pounds each at Harrods and I bought art materials so I remember buying beautiful I've even still got the brushes some beautiful brushes paints and and these pastels so they're going to be what i use to smudge <laughs> but they were absolutely filthy 20 no, well 20 40 years worth of you know anyway so i was going to do a double page but i think i might just do one so i'm going to have something a bunny to because i've not got a lottery ticket a baby a crown a bunny No, I've already got a bunny. Oh, that's something grey and a bunny. We've got that that's grey and we've got some, I thought we'll do pink because it's got pink here. And uh, we're going to have smudges already. <laughs> okay, and then so I just got some background papers that I thought matched. So I'm just going to start putting some down. Blue book. And then we'll just smudge after. So hopefully it's not too complicated <laughs> pop that on the edge and we're going to have some of this on I might cut that a bit smaller like that I have this piece up here so I might cut a piece of that off I don't need to yep, cut a piece of that off great oh already stuck the grey down okay I'm going to make it a bit smaller and so we're going to move it Put it down that white line there, yep. and we'll just have another piece down here, will we? Okay, so this is totally different to my, as you can see, totally different to my normal style. And that's the idea of this glue book is, I want to be able to just do anything. It doesn't matter if it's white, vintage, um, modern, this little one. And I think that one's going up here. Okay, very simple. <laughs> That's the basics. Right, so we've got our little sticker. I'm going to cut around it. So I've got some idea how much room it takes. Right, so I like the bunny there. So we've got two bunnies, so maybe we need to have something different grey. Maybe we'll have this one grey. Oh yes, I think that's something different. And cut this one out. I don't think we'll, well it doesn't look like we're tearing, even though I started tearing. Um, white border, mm. well, I'll cut the white border off to start with. And then we'll probably cut it off. But you know, it might make it look like a picture, a picture in a picture frame. So maybe we'll keep the border. That really is just going to be super simple. <laughs> Fun. Oh, it would be nice to have it. I haven't got a book like this. It'll be lovely. All right, so um, the bunny is the lottery ticket. Something grey. Crown. Oh, we tore the crown. Hmm. We might have to cut the crown. 
because I don't think he's going to it's going to match very well and we've got these cute eggs I might cut that a bit smaller but this is the basics there so it's kind of like um, but I'd like to maybe fill up some more spaces so um, let's have maybe I'll refer that one all right so they're the basics um, so now we can just kind of like add other pieces to add a bit of interest I mean this is not really my <laughs> <laughs> this is not the way I normally do things, so I'm trying to just do it a bit differently. It may or not may or may not work. What else could we put in? Just cut the bottom of that off. Just use that as a bit of trim. There's another piece here. It might be a bit too small to do anything with. Maybe a piece of the grey. Uh, a label, I think. Let's see what we've got. got. Some bigger versions of these. These are a bit small. I still have to smudge. Oh, there's these. I've got bigger versions of those too. Maybe I'll have to go to my drawers where the bigger ones are. I think they're all a bit small. Oh, there's some pretty flowers. See, I never... Get in there. I never use these. Can you see them? Yep. Yeah. I never use these because they're just too modern and white. So I might like to use a couple of these. I like that one. I might prefer that one. Oh, that goes that way. I might need three then, mightn't I? It's got grey on it, it might be okay. Those. Hmm. I mean, I find these things weird I've got from AliExpress. Vintage car service since 1969. Yep, in 1969 we didn't call them vintage. I, I don't know, just bothers me because it's just like you can't just throw the word vintage in and make and that makes it vintage it doesn't work like that oh, i really like this label we used this label the other day that was really nice we use that pink um oh there's these hang on i like these yeah maybe not that one maybe one of those it says flower what color that one. Oh, that one's nicer. I think it sort of contrasts better. Hmm. Okay. Still not quite what I was looking for, but it's just a bit of extra decoratives. Let's see if I can find something in here. Because you see, I've got these gorgeous pieces that you can just cut up and. Oh, I might be able to find a lotto. Bingo. Bingo's not really lotto, is it? I wonder if there is any lotto. Oh, these are nice. Maybe we'll have a grey one. This one. Okay. Um, still would have liked a word. Bingo. Can't see a lotto ticket. This colour. Uh, what should we have to go with the bunnies? Bunnies, babies, crowns, a butterfly. Um, I have embrace. These are from Adamo Prints on Etsy. We might have grateful and enjoy. I think I can make that work. And we have these 
labels that we could stick it in. They've got different colours. Let's see what other colours there are. Somewhere here. All sorts of things in here. Yeah, these labels are really nice. And those, they're green. These ones. Keep those out. We'll work with what we've got. <laughs> oh, I have got a label box. I could have gone to the label box. The ones that are already cut out, but I just remembered that that's where they were. So, yeah, let's let's glue some of this down. Let's glue the main images down, and then we'll add our labels on after. <laughs> I don't know where I'm, what I'm going where. So I think that's going there. So I think we'll just stick that on. Trying not to be too fussy. Don't know if it's working. The idea is for me to practice being less pedantic and more just glue it down. <laughs> Don't know if I've succeeded yet, but that's the whole point of it is to practice. I still want it to look nice. I don't want it to look messy. So we have our crown. We have something grey. We have something else grey now. Oops, I think that was supposed to go underneath. Under there. I'm going to put more of the ink inside because it's not really inked. It's this uh, page. Okay. Um, a little baby is going to go on there. Where's the other image? We've got the, and then we've got a bunny. Okay, so we can just take the bunny off. And we're not going to fuss that it's got white edges. <laughs> Don't look jolly. It's just, it's okay. He's cute. And that's just going to go along there. Now, do we want the white edge on that? Oh, well, apparently it is recording, but I can't uh, see it on the screen. Its screen has frozen. Why have we got, still got blue on it? Let's trim a little bit more off. Maybe we'll just have a very small edge. So it's just like a picture frame. Cool. Perfect. So let's go and put that there. And the little egg. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. And... I might just cut this out a little bit. I know I might be still being a bit fussy, but it's just a bit too much. It's better. My hands are filthy from all those smudging. See, I'm not going to want to smudge this. It'll have to be something with a pretty colour. Okay, cute little bit of... Oh, I probably should have checked where I was putting these. I'm going to put that there. And this one, bit, take off some of the white. Oh, I'm enjoying this. It's fun. It means I can use up. I've got so many, so many things that I just wouldn't use for Marguerite Miller. Yeah, I just I look at them and I like them and I think, no, I'm not going to use that. It's not right. Oh yes, yeah, let's just pop that up here. Lovely. And we've got one more. It's going to go here somewhere, I think. Let's cut a bit off. Yeah, I bought these. Oh, oops. Um, and they're very pretty. But no. They just didn't work for me. Oh, we've got some of these things we could have used. I think we're a bit late for those. Let's make a little um, cluster down here with the um, title on it. Yeah, let's do that. So my style is probably still, I would call, collage. That was, oh no. Oh no, oops, let's put, glue that back down. Can we put it just on like on top? I think we can if we cut a bit off the edge. Oh, I'm just going to glue it down. You know, it's, um, it's just have fun and make it pretty and just a way for me to do something a bit more relaxing and use up my stash. I might have wanted it a bit smaller, but not to worry. It's that size now. There we go. Um, okay. Getting there. So I think just a little um, ticket and cluster with uh, a label. And we're done. Oh, we need to smudge. <laughs> so we've got a little ticket. Enjoy. We're going to have enjoy, I think. Because that's what I feel like today that it... Um, I'm enjoying enjoying the uh, process. I've got this ticket. I don't know whether we're using any of those. Not this time. We're going to use enjoy. Unless there's enjoy in here. 
Mm, no. Okay, another time. But I might use one of these labels. So which one of these labels would it fit on well? Um, that one's a bit too big. I can make that one work. Yep. The flowery one. These are do -do -do -do, Blossom Paper Art on Etsy. The Enjoy one is from Damo Prince. I think I already told you that. These are from um, AliExpress. These tickets. Don't know. Uh, some of them I've put examples of them on a sheet in front of me so I can see them. <laughs> All right. Uh, that way. We're going to put that on here. And then just a little a little cluster type thing in the corner and then we're going to do some smudging now we'll just pop it down it's fine totally fine not even inking the edges don't need to they uh they look fine this one i think this one's a sticker sorry about my fingers i meant to go wash my hands after i cleaned the pastels sorry mm -hmm. and this lovely okay so hmm. I love it okay some pastels might just need some paper to test the colors your tad dark oh yeah that one that might need to be a bit a bit more color we need some grey. We've got some grey. Yes. This one. Mm, maybe. How about some contrast? Yes, I think that kind of goes with that. So there we go. We've got some colours to smudge. Let's just have a bit of a go. <laughs> um, putting down some colours to smudge just random and once I've got the colors down I'll rub them with rub it over it just adds a bit of interest to the background won't it now let's put it on the background it's on the gray yeah mm. different colors in different places Actually, I've got, I've not got a smudge stick or something. Might be better than my fingers. Okay, where's that smudge stick that I got? I thought I had a smudge stick, but I didn't. So I'm going to use a uh, tissue because once I think it gets grubby, it will, you know, I can. Okay. Yeah, just smudge it with the tissue. It'll work. Right there. Actually, I might quite like, yeah, let's just smudge that onto the butterfly. That's nice. If we can smudge around, no, it doesn't really take it on the white. Okay, let's just get rid of all the dust. Okay, something happened to my camera. Um, yeah, so that's done. I quite like it. <laughs> I, I did prompt 27. I didn't do the lottery ticket, so I substituted with the wild card piece, which was the rabbit. And I smudged, so we can now tick that off. Underline it. Smudged something. So I smudged all around at the end. Uh, something grey is well we've got that's gray that's kind of gray that's kind of lots of things are gray and the background page is gray and we've got a crown and we've got a baby in a pram that's gray and then we've just got a cluster and some decorative items to fill the page really easy um fun <laughs> so yeah head over to carla from cage fish on youtube with a k cage fish um, and check out her videos 
uh, and also uh, Sue, I noticed, I don't know who else is doing it, but I, I found it through Sue on Art, Craft and Journals. And then I watched Cage Fish as well. So there's a few others to, a few videos to see there. Have a bit of fun with your collaging. So I just wanted to get rid of that white bit, the line there. Right, I could play around with the smudging forever. <laughs> but it's interesting, isn't it? I didn't want to do smudging, but the smudging completely matched the um, little stickers as if it as if it was all done with the stickers. That's just, yeah, weird, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, I enjoyed that. That was fun, and it's pink. And I like the butterfly being slightly colored. What a quick and easy way to color. A little bit of um, pastel. So much e even easier than colored pencils. That's awesome. So yeah, very happy with that. I uh, remember to check out the Lotta's Lovely Leftovers, <laughs> the giveaway video. You, uh, you'll need to comment on three videos to be have a valid entry. I will give you all the number as you comment, but you will need to have three three comments in order to enter the prize, the giveaway. And if you comment on every video in January, then you will be entered for the Serial Commentator Prize. So there's going to be two prizes. So check out the video which has all the um, information and details about the giveaway. Comment below, press subscribe and like, and uh, you'll be uh, yeah entered into the giveaway. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.